Hello, this is a core class, Pilates class, using the foam roller. Um, if you don't have a really long foam roller, you could use a shorter foam roller and add a little bit more length um, to your foam roller because we're going to be using it to let our spines balance on the roller. You can start by just allowing your arms to open up to the side and opening up through the tight area of the pecs. So just relaxing here. Just breathing into your belly and exhaling, allowing gravity to take your arms, your arm bones a little bit heavier to the ground. You can also knock your knees together to feel a little bit more supported in this initial, just paying attention, focusing on the breath. This gives us a good opportunity to keep our spine in neutral while still um, working our stable, stabilizing muscles in the core quite deeply. So let's um, find your comfortable position. Got this side ponytail so I can let my head rest down. And now find your neutral. So just a tiny bit of barely being able to slip your finger underneath your lower back. That's your neutral position. Ribs are going to stay knitted together, frontal hip points towards each other. As we inhale and bring your arms up overhead into flexion and exhale back down towards the earth. Inhale and exhale. As you bring the arms overhead, um, your ribs will want to lift, so we're knitting them together, slightly drawing them towards the tops of the thighs. Exhale down. Inhale. Eventually you can add weight into your hands, so pulling a weight over your head without drawing the ribs, without allowing the ribs to follow the hands. And then exhale, bring your hands down by your side. To start this work, you can have your hands out a little bit wider as you get more um, stable in the core and more comfortable with this work. You can bring your hands in a little bit closer. So let's bring our right leg up into tabletop and then your left leg up to follow. Just hold and balance here for a moment. And right away, feel the Core, stable, core stabilizing muscles working. Relax your shoulders. Breathe into your side ribs, exhale. Tap your right foot down and then bring it up. Exhale, left leg down. Doesn't have to come all the way down to the floor. Bring it up. Right leg, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, just coming back to that tiny, tiny, tiny little P space. We're not compressing the low back into the foam roller. Creates just enough instability where you really have to hold your balance. Stay with the breath. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Good, holding here for a moment. Let's lower the right leg down and the left leg down. Good, now just float the left leg up and the right arm up. Find your neutral, inhale laterally. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, 
reaching the right arm and the left leg away from each other. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Don't rush. Exhale. Inhale. Two more times. Exhale. Inhale. Release the leg down. Relax your abdominals. And we'll come to the other side. Right leg up. Left arm up. Inhale. Laterally. Exhale. Arm and leg move away from each other. And then back in towards each other. Away. Exhaling. Inhale. You can also not move the arms to modify arm and leg so far away. Maybe making it a little bit smaller. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Trying to get a balance count on each side. Let's say we've got four more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And release. Take a moment to allow your arms to rest out to the side. Feel that stretch through the chest. Big breath in. Let it go where it goes. Good. And hands come down by your side. Float your left leg up and your right leg up. Holding here. So we tap one leg down at a time. Let's try sliding both legs out just a little bit. And then back in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. If you feel wobbly, arms can come out a little bit more. Four. Keep the front ribs drawing towards each other. Pay attention to the neutral spine. Last two. And one. So let your knees come in towards you. If anything bothers your lower back, um, just make the move smaller or skip. There's plenty of variations here. Let's come to the next variation. Both feet come down to the floor. Find your neutral. Take your right leg up towards the sky, and we'll do leg circles down around. So these are going to be much smaller than you might be used to. Uh, doing them in a mat class. Just drawing little circles. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Four. Three. Two. And one. We've got another direction. Eight. Use that Pilates exhale. Shh. Shh. Last six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Relax. Deep breath in, and exhale. Other side, left leg up, find your neutral, and draw little circles. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale, inhale. Five, four, Three, two, one. Option to even do it with a bent leg. Change direction. 
One. Shh. Two. Shh. Three. Shh. Four. Shh. Five. Shh. Six. Shh. Seven. Shh. And eight. Shh. Good. Relax. Inhale. And exhale. So now we're going to try a little bit of a curl up, but not in the lower back. So you can bring um, one hand behind, the right hand behind the head, and bring your left leg into tabletop. Inhale, and exhale, a little curl in, and then inhale, out, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Three more. Shh. Two. Shh. And one. Shh. Release. Switching sides, left hand behind your head. Right leg into tabletop. Exhale, curl in. Shh. And stretch. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. Try to keep the elbow off the floor. If you need to, you can lower it down. Shh. You can also just keep the leg in tabletop and just curl up with the body. Exhale. Inhale. Three, two, and one. Great job. Let's try a small roll up. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Space between the chin and the chest. Elongate the back of the neck. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Let's hold for a short 100. Exhale. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Exhale, exhale, exhale. If you need one hand behind the head. Inhale, inhale, inhale. My tailbone is still down. My back bottom ribs are still down. Still a tiny little space underneath my lower back. If you're um, doing one hand behind the head, switch, inhale, exhale, shh, 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 shh. Each time knitting those front ribs shh, while keeping the back long, shh, 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 shh. Inhale, exhale, shh, shh, shh. Inhale, shh, shh, shh. Exhale, shh, shh, shh. Inhale, exhale, shh, shh, shh. Inhale, shh, shh, shh. Exhale. And release. Deep breath in. Right into the belly. Release any tension there. All the way down to the pelvic floor. Inhale. And exhale. Let's take another chest stretch. Open the arms wide. Good. And then bring your arms up. Steady yourself on that roller and lift your right leg. Let's hold and balance. Try to keep center.
Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, and bring them back up. Try to lift the left leg. Hold and breathe. Relax the neck and the shoulders. Good, and release. Big breath in. Let's roll off. And a few more options here to use our roller. So that was all focused more on the deep core muscles and a little bit more on the rectus abdominis, the front core. So let's do a little work for the back using a, ro a foam roller. Press the palms down. Internally rotate the thighs so the sitting bones widen. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Press the palms down. Work the lats. Shoulders press away from the ears. One. Two. Three. Four. Press down with the shoulders. Keep the shoulder blades wide. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I'm also working the triceps. Eight. And now take your roller and lift. One. Two, three, four. Keep your navel lifting in towards your back body. Keep your tailbone long. Last three. Round two. Round one. And relax. Roll it in. Exhale. Just two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Come up. Let's try a little bit of a forearm plank with the forearms on the rollers. Lift the toes. Try to pull back and foam. Just a little small movement. Just the unsteadiness of the roller is going to have you working a little bit deeper here. Shift forward and back. Shoulders pull back. Two and one. That was a short one. Good. And then take a stretch. Child's pose, arms on top of the roller. Hold and breathe. Let your head be heavy. Palms facing each other so the shoulders stay wide. Good. And then bring that roller back towards the ankles. Let's come down onto our elbows. Just take a moment. Find the right setup. And you might have to move your feet. Um, to find um, an ability to roll a little bit uh, the roller forward and back. So inhale, press your elbows, lengthen your triceps down into the earth, hug your belly and lift up, and roll up and out, keeping the shoulders away from the ears, up and out. Up, don't come into an arch as you lower, keep the belly lifting. Four, Three, two, hold, lower your knees, stretch back. Good. You can do that one more time, or 
I'll walk that leg. So uh, right under the um, front of the foot, cross your right leg over your left. Same thing. Pull up and out. Pull up and out. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. You can hold the last one if you want. Take a moment. Maybe do a little cat cow. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Back onto your elbows. Let your foam roller roll out. Come up into your plank. Cross your right leg over your left. Shoulders away from the ears. Exhale. Pull up and out. Up and out. One. Two. Three, four, five, don't let your belly sag, six, seven, eight. Good. Let's come back onto our back using the roller under our feet for some bridge work. Okay, so we're going to have the roller underneath our feet. Inhale. Exhale, press up into bridge. You're going to roll onto your heels and to your feet. To your heels and to the soles of your feet. Roll out, maybe straightening the legs, and back in. Out, and in. So starting small, working the hamstrings. Four, three, two, sometimes the roller will get away from you. One, good. Release down, maybe bring the roller back towards you. Let's just do some regular all bridges, lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lengthen the tailbone. Don't let the knees splay apart. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Lower down. Take a moment to stretch those hamstrings. Just one more exercise. I'm going to take the foam roller and just put it between the knees to give you something to squeeze into. You can have it with one edge on the floor and we're just going to squeeze in. Start with your hips just on the floor. Squeeze in, keeping that neutral spine. Squeeze in. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Hold the squeeze. Last four. Three. Two. And one. Feet are parallel with the hips. Same thing, only this time our hips are elevated, drawing away from the chest. Squeeze eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. 
four, three, two, one more set, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Roller aside. Take a hip stretch, ankle to knee, pull it in towards your chest. Try to keep both sides of the waist long. And then switch. Holding the stretch, hamstring, and behind the knee to lift up. And you can stretch for a while longer, stretch through your abs, maybe a few cobras. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day.